Hey everyone, Jeff Corwin here. I'm thrilled to have you join me on another wild adventure, right here in the heart of Florida's untamed wilderness. Today, we're venturing deep into Florida's wild side to meet a creature that's as beautiful as it is misunderstood, the eastern coral snake. This elusive reptile is one of the most striking animals you'll ever see, and it's a true gem of the Sunshine State. With its vibrant red, yellow, and black bands, the eastern coral snake is a living work of art. These bold colors aren't just for show, they're a warning to would-be predators. As a member of the Alapid family, it's closely related to some of the world's most famous snakes like cobras and mambas. Is it dangerous? Absolutely. But there's more to the story. The eastern coral snake's neurotoxic venom is a powerful defense mechanism, capable of causing serious harm. But here's the thing, this snake is incredibly shy. It would much rather slip away unnoticed than confront a human. In fact, bites are extremely rare, and the snake only uses its venom as a last resort. The coral snake's venom is a last resort, not a weapon of aggression. It prefers to stay hidden, relying on its camouflage and secretive nature to avoid trouble. If you leave it alone, it'll do the same for you. Despite its fearsome reputation, the eastern coral snake plays a vital role in Florida's ecosystem. It helps control populations of small animals like lizards, frogs, and rodents, keeping the natural balance in check. Every creature has its place, and the coral snake is no exception. By understanding its habits and respecting its space, we can safely coexist with this stunning reptile. If you ever spot one, remember to admire it from a distance. Never try to handle or disturb it. Today we'll learn how to identify the eastern coral snake, where it lives, and what makes it unique among Florida snakes. We'll also talk about how to tell it apart from harmless lookalikes, like the Scarlet King Snake, using the famous rhyme, Red Touch Yellow, Kill a Fellow, Red Touch Black, Friend of Jack. We'll bust some common myths and give you the knowledge you need to be a safe and smart adventurer in the Sunshine State. Whether you're hiking, camping, or just exploring your backyard, knowing about the coral snake can help you appreciate Florida's wild beauty even more. The Eastern Coral Snake is a true Florida native a symbol of the wild beauty and diversity still thriving in our world. It's a reminder that even in a rapidly changing landscape, nature's wonders are all around us. Even in our own backyards, amazing creatures like the eastern coral snake are living their lives, quietly going about their business. They're part of what makes Florida such a special place to call home. So, let's get to know this deadly beauty a little better. Stick with me as we uncover the secrets of the eastern coral snake and celebrate the wild wonders of Florida together. What truly sets the eastern coral snake apart from other snakes is its potent venom, a highly specialized neurotoxin that has evolved over millions of years. This venom is not just a simple toxin, it's a complex cocktail designed specifically to target the nervous system of its prey, making it one of the most dangerous venoms in North America. When a person or animal is bitten, the venom quickly begins to disrupt the communication between nerves and muscles. This interference can lead to muscle paralysis, which may start subtly, but can rapidly progress. In severe cases, the paralysis spreads to the muscles that control breathing, making the bite potentially life-threatening if not treated promptly. Unlike bites from pit vipers, which often cause immediate pain, swelling and bruising, a coral snake bite can appear deceptively mild at first. There may be little to no pain, and the bite site might show only tiny puncture marks with minimal swelling. This can lead victims to underestimate the seriousness of the situation. This delay in symptoms is what makes coral snake bites especially dangerous. Hours can pass before more severe symptoms like slurred speech, double vision, or difficulty breathing begin to appear. By the time these signs develop, the venom may have already caused significant damage. That's why immediate medical attention is absolutely critical. Never wait to see if symptoms develop. Even if the bite seems minor, seeking help right away can make all the difference. Fortunately, there is an effective anti-venom available for coral snake bites. However, it must be administered as soon as possible to prevent the venom from causing irreversible harm. Every minute counts in these situations. Any suspected coral snake bite should always be treated as a medical emergency, no matter how harmless it may look at first glance. The power of the coral snake's venom is the result of millions of years of evolution. It's a remarkable adaptation, a tool for survival that allows the snake to subdue prey quickly and defend itself when threatened. It's important to remember that the snake uses its venom for survival, not out of aggression toward humans. Always respect the abilities of this remarkable reptile and keep your distance if you encounter one in the wild. 
admire from afar, and never attempt to handle or provoke a coral snake. Remember, even if a bite looks minor or causes little pain, the risk is very real. Quick action and calling for emergency help can save lives and prevent serious complications. Don't underestimate the eastern coral snake's silent strength. Its small size and secretive nature hide a powerful defense mechanism that demands respect. Always err on the side of caution when exploring areas where coral snakes live. Awareness and respect are your best tools for staying safe in their habitat. Knowing how to identify the eastern coral snake is absolutely crucial, especially if you spend time outdoors in the southeastern United States. These snakes are highly venomous, and being able to recognize them quickly can make all the difference in a potentially dangerous encounter. Whether you're hiking, gardening, or simply exploring nature, awareness is your first line of defense. The eastern coral snake is famous for its striking appearance. Look for rings of bright red, yellow, and black that completely encircle its slender body. One of the most distinctive features is its black snout, which sets it apart from many harmless look-alikes. The vivid colors serve as a warning to predators and people alike. To help remember the difference, there's a well-known rhyme. Red on yellow, kill a fellow, red on black, friend of Jack. This simple phrase can help you quickly distinguish the dangerous coral snake from its harmless mimics, like the scarlet king snake or milk snake. On the true coral snake, the red bands always touch the yellow bands. On harmless mimics, the red bands touch black instead. This banding pattern is the key to telling them apart at a glance but always take your time to be sure. However, keep in mind that this rhyme only applies to coral snakes found in the United States. If you're traveling in Central or South America or anywhere outside the US, don't rely on this rule. Other species may have different patterns, and mistakes can be dangerous. Another identifying feature is the eastern coral snake's head. It's small and barely wider than its body, with smooth scales and a rounded shape. Unlike pit vipers, it doesn't have a triangular head or heat-sensing pits. Its fangs are fixed at the front of the mouth, designed to deliver potent neurotoxic venom. Unlike pit vipers, which strike quickly and release, the coral snake must bite and hold on to inject its venom. This means bites are less common, but the venom is extremely dangerous, so caution is always necessary. Because of their shy nature and small mouths, coral snake bites are rare. Still, if you see one, always give it plenty of space and never try to interact with it. Never attempt to handle a snake unless you are a trained expert. Even professionals use special tools and take great care when working with venomous snakes. If you're ever unsure about a snake's identity, the safest choice is to leave it alone and walk away. It's always better to be cautious than to risk a bite. Commit the coral snake's color pattern to memory. Red touching yellow means you should be extremely cautious. This knowledge could protect you and others from harm. Take the time to teach your family and friends about coral snake identification, especially children who are naturally curious about wildlife. Learning together can make outdoor adventures safer for everyone. Remember, respect is the best protection. By observing snakes from a safe distance and appreciating their role in the ecosystem, we can coexist peacefully and safely with these remarkable creatures. The eastern coral snake is found across the southeastern U.S., especially in Florida. It thrives in dry, sandy woodlands, pine forests, and areas with loose soil and leaf litter. These snakes are fossorial, spending most of their time underground or hidden beneath logs and rocks. Their secretive nature makes sightings rare, even where they're common. As Florida's neighborhoods expand, coral snakes are sometimes found in gardens, compost piles, or under yard debris. Awareness is key check before reaching into hidden spaces outdoors. Remember, we share this landscape with them. They're not invaders, but native residents. Keeping your yard tidy and removing hiding spots reduces the chance of an encounter. A little caution goes a long way. The more we understand their habitat, the safer we'll be. Coexistence starts with respect for their space. Stay alert, not afraid. Despite its potent venom, the eastern coral snake is shy and non-aggressive. Its first instinct is always to flee, not fight. Most active in the early morning and late afternoon, it avoids the midday heat and spends most of its life hidden. Defensive behaviors include hiding its head and waving its tail to confuse predators. Biting is a last resort, usually only if it's picked up or stepped on. Because it must latch on and chew to deliver venom, bites are rare. Their secretive lifestyle means even in snake-rich areas, encounters are uncommon. Respect their space and you're unlikely to ever be bitten. These snakes are masters of camouflage and avoidance. Their reputation is far scarier than their reality. Leave them alone and they'll do the same. Admire from a distance, never interfere. 
Let's look at the facts. Coral snake bites are extremely rare. Out of thousands of venomous snake bites in the US each year, fewer than a hundred are from coral snakes. Most bites happen when people try to handle or kill the snake. Accidental bites are uncommon. Fatalities are even rarer, especially with modern medical care and anti-venom. There hasn't been a confirmed death from a native coral snake bite in the US in over 50 years. The real risk comes from human behavior, not the snake itself. If you leave them alone, the danger is almost non-existent. Most bites are preventable with simple caution. The numbers prove respect, not fear, is the right response. Let's keep it that way. Living in Florida means sharing space with coral snakes, but staying safe is simple. Rule 1. If you see a snake, leave it alone and back away slowly. Be aware outdoors. Watch where you step and place your hands, especially in tall grass or under debris. Stick to cleared trails when hiking, and use a stick to check under logs or rocks before moving them. Wear sturdy shoes and long pants in snake-prone areas. At night, use a flashlight to spot snakes before you get too close. Keep your yard tidy, remove piles of wood, rocks, and debris. Seal cracks in your home's foundation and keep sheds secure. Reducing hiding spots and food sources makes your property less attractive to snakes. These habits aren't drastic, they're just smart. Awareness and respect are your best tools. Peaceful coexistence is possible with a few simple steps. If you're bitten by a suspected coral snake, stay calm and move as little as possible. Get away from the snake and call emergency services immediately. Keep the bite area at or below heart level and remove tight clothing or jewelry. Try to remember the snake's color pattern but don't risk another bite trying to catch it. Do not apply a tourniquet. Cut the wound, suck out venom, or use ice or heat. Avoid alcohol and caffeine. Wait for medical professionals. They'll monitor your breathing and administer anti-venom if needed. Modern treatment is highly effective but speed is crucial. Don't waste time with old remedies. Get to a hospital. Your best chance is quick, calm action. Let the doctors do their job. Don't be a hero, be a patient. Safety first, always. The eastern coral snake deserves our respect, not fear. Its beauty and role in the ecosystem make it a vital part of Florida's wild tapestry. Its venom is a defense, not a threat to those who leave it alone. Most bites result from people making poor choices. Education is the key to prevention. Teach the rhyme, share the facts, and replace myth with knowledge. Seeing a coral snake is a rare special event, respond with wonder, not panic. Our responsibility is to coexist, not conquer. By respecting wildlife we protect both ourselves and these remarkable creatures. The eastern coral snake reminds us of nature's complexity and beauty. Next time you're exploring, keep your eyes open and your distance. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe, stay curious, and respect the wild.